Good afternoon again, just bringing you a quick tutorial today on how to do a Modern Warfare 3 Modded Lobby Mod Menu. Now the reason why I'm doing Modern Warfare 3 first off is I think it's probably the best Call of Duty after Modern Warfare 2. Um, it's probably it's one of the harder ones to do. Um, it's not just like put a patch into the game directory like Modern Warfare 2 and bam it's done. This is um this is just a bit more complicated. It's not complicated, it's just you have to do much different stuff. Okay, um now you're gonna need two things, which is these two files. Sorry about the camera as well guys, this is all I got and sorry, this is what I gotta work with. You need two things and they will be in the description below. Um this is a RimWare file with three files, don't mind the text me that's really none. Um an IW5M.xex and a no D pad one. I just used the the XCX one uh, no D pad. Okay, and a default MP the XCX patched. Now you'll need these two. Okay. Now when you download these two, it should take a few seconds. You will need a USB. Now the reason why I'm doing USB we can use we could use um we could use Xbox 360 neighborhood but um not everybody has that and not everybody basically can get it. But the reason why I'm using USB is because you should have a USB if you have a JTAG or GH firstly. Transfer files if you haven't got it. So you're gonna open it. There's a few I think there's a film on this, so I'll just delete that real quick. Trailer park boys. Okay. Now you will transfer these two onto the USB. Okay, and when that's done, you just eject it. And we go over to the RGH or JTAG. Just insert the USB in. Now the difference between these is first off we go to dash launch hopefully that focuses a bit better oh it's not focusing at all okay we go down to dash launch okay go to wherever you got your dash launch click into it okay cool okay so we go down to plugins now I've already got mine plugged in, but this is what you guys would do. Now this is my um, neighborhood Xbox 360. Neighbor. If you have that set up, if you don't, uh, if you don't have anything, it'll be all say none. So wherever one you want to put, I have it in here. So you'll simply go A, go down to your, um, click back there, go down to your USB one, go into the file. USB. Oh yeah, you'll have it in the game directory. All right, so there they are there. Now you'll just click on that, and it'll bring you back here, and it'll be in there. So you just click right bumper. You go down to HDD and the light, and hit X to save. And I'll just come up down there saying save to launch the INI. Then you'll hit B. Hit B and we back out. It'll bring us back to whatever dashboard you're on, freestyle or your default. Okay, and we just torn the J tag off or G H. We just torn them back on there. You gotta reboot it for the oh, it's rebooting dash launch. So here we go. <coughs> Just give it a second to load up. This is the part I've been having problems with. I just thought you just load it, but. The default MP the XCX is pretty hard. Well, not hard to find, but to find the right one. Okay, so we're gonna go over to XCX menu now. Okay, 
Okay, go to XCX menu. Whatever one you have, 1.1 or 1.2. Now, you're going to go to your USB. So, just one sec. There we go, we're on the USB. So, this is the default MP to XCX. You will not, you don't need the, the IW5M mod menu. You'll need this. So, you click Y. You click copy. You click, you go back to your wherever your game is. My game is on my external hard drive, so I will go down to my external hard drive. Oop. USB. I click the games, and my Modern Warfare 3 is down here. I click that. I click Y. I'm not gonna copy it because I already got it. Oh, paste. Sorry. I click paste. When you click paste, this will come up. You just click confirm. Okay. And when that's done, you simply go down to your default MP to XCX. Now this is the problem that people have been having. When they load this, their RGH or JTAG will either crash or you'll just get a black screen or one or the other. But this um, patches it. So you just go into system link, create game, doesn't really matter, just start any game. Just click a gun. And this is welcome to the IW5M created by Hexsource, hosted by me, Raffy Bones. And that's just to open the menu and you can go through it or whatever. You go to self. There's your 20th prestige. Click on it, 20th prestige enabled. And yeah, it's a pretty cool menu guys. Um, if you have any problems just comment on the video below and I will try to help you out as simple and easy and quick as I can um, I will Skype you if you need to be Skyped if this does not help I know it's a bit late but I, like I said I still think it's probably the most popular Call of Duty out now um, and I will be bringing you a video of my JRGH online probably later on during the week or later on today and I will be doing Modern Warfare 3 mod menu online just to show you how to put your RGH or JTAG online how I do it personally and where I get my codes from I will be doing a step-by-step -step tutorial on that okay guys thanks for watching and good luck